In Search of Landy. And we are back with another In Search of Landy episode. I am James, and with me I have Kieran as always. How are you, Kieran? Hey, I'm, I'm alright. I'm alright yourself, James? Yeah, not too bad. And today we have a very special guest, Mr. Corey Marshall. How are you today, man? I am excellent. Oh, that's I awesome. am excellent. How are you guys doing? Yeah, not too bad. I, I just want to say thanks for coming on. Um, as I say, you know, we're quite a small channel. And, uh, you know, the fact that you take the time out of your day to come on is just really humbling. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you know, guys, thank you very much for having me on. I um, uh, I, I really... Uh, I, I'm in awe of everything that happens in the Shenmue universe. I mean, honestly, so I, I'm just happy to be a part of it. And thank you for having me. Uh, on your show I, I i really appreciate it so thank you oh, thanks man cheers yeah. no, no definitely definitely so yeah today's episode is just going to be a couple of questions that me and kieran have ourselves um and as some of you guys may remember uh, we did ask um if you had any questions for corey so we'll get onto those after we've asked ours um so for for people who may not know you corey um who are you uh, what do you do uh, where you're from uh, what what's your story yeah, so uh, my name is Corey Marshall. I currently reside in uh, Los Angeles, California. Um, most people know me as the voice of Ryo Hazuki in the uh, Sega released platform. Let's see, that was, gosh, that was all the way back in uh, 01 or let's see, 02, let's see, 2001 at this point. Yeah, first, first uh, edition of that hmm. was uh, Shenmue. Yes, I did Shenmue 1 and Shenmue 2, and I have currently been signed on to uh bring in the third edition of that game shinmu 3 that's such great news that is great that news. is absolutely yeah as soon as i read it a, an absolute you know absolute round of applause very happy <laughs> very happy indeed yeah i i was great to uh it was great for them to uh, contact me i know that a lot of um fans were uh I, as soon as soon as the three announcement was made people flood my uh, all of my social media is asking me if I was a part of it and I yeah. think there was just such an overwhelming response from uh, all the fans out there mm. that mm. Uh, yeah they ended up contacting me very soon <laughs> uh, usually that doesn't happen you know what I mean usually no. the project gets kind of going and uh, mm. they start to kind of even build the project but I think because there was such a response that they ended yeah. up kind of contacting me very soon mm. and yeah. uh, asking me if I'd like to be a part of the project so thanks to everybody out there for their overwhelming response it's been it's been mad madness I mean no oh, it is that's actually quite a good segue what was your reaction to Shamu free I mean how did you find out about it um, did you was it just through the social media or did you actually watch uh, the Sony press conference yourself, or yeah, you know, I didn't watch the press conference myself. Oh. Uh, it's kind of funny how it happened. I uh, I was actually picking up my daughter. I think it, it, I think it may have been from school, and um, I had I was walking up um, walking up the stairs where I live, and um, suddenly my phone started just pinging and lots of digit. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what's going on? I was Jeez. like, is there... Yeah, you know, I, I mean, yeah. I, I had stuff in my hand, you know, I'm opening up the door. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I couldn't even look at the phone, right? But what's funny is, is that my, my wife had her iPad and she just walked up right to me and she looked in my eyes and she was like, did you hear? <laughs> and uh, with, that, with that kind of response, I was like, uh, is it about... Shenmue, perhaps <laughs> she goes yeah and you know the only the only reason i would get that many pings mm. is that if something new in the in the Shenmue world has been released and yeah. uh that that's just when my phone explodes and everything just goes nuts and i have you know it takes me three months to respond to everybody and <laughs> all, that, all that kind of stuff so i kind of assumed that when she came up and she kind of had you know the uh, mobile devices in her hand and like i said i just kept hearing the, those pings i just assumed that it was shenmue and i thought oh, it's gotta be it's gotta it's be some kind of a it's happening yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh yeah that that's how i found out about it i just i she, she just kind of gave me that um, kind of serious kind of uh <laughs> the look know, happy yeah. Yeah. Look, every yeah. every woman's got a look <laughs> yeah. every yeah that's true that's true <laughs> yeah. very true yeah well, then, with Shemu, um, obviously, as you, as you said yourself, you know, such a long time ago now, 
Um, how confident are you about stepping back into the role of Rio? Yeah, um, yeah, it has been a while, you know. So I, I'm I'm in a different place now, you know. I'm definitely an older individual. I have a child of my own.、Um, things are very different in my life, and so yeah, as an actor, I would definitely have to step back、uh, in a in that younger part of my life.、Mm-hmm. Um, I, I I would definitely just personally review. All the things that we did,、um, I, I would have to replace my system.、Uh, my system、yeah. crashed because <laughs> I would like to even. I would. I would like to even replay the games,、mm. and、uh, you know, relive that feeling and that.、Uh, just get into that that universe again. Yeah. But、mm. yeah, I would. I would. I would have to remember because when they cast me. I was I was pretty young at the time. I was you know s- slightly older、mm. than、uh, Rio Hazuki, and、uh, mm. but but he you know our our backgrounds were very similar. The martial arts background and you know just kind of like a you know very, very studied individual, and that's that's kind of like where I was. I was I was very dedicated. Very、um, I studied a lot of martial arts and, and my craft at the time, which was、uh, I was actually going to college for、uh, for. Uh, dance. I was studying ballet and modern dance, and that that's、mm, very that's intensive phys- physically. Yeah.、Mm, yeah. And、um, but so so I was kind of almost in that mindset, and I think the reason that they cast me is because you know I I I could I could access that type of character so well. Yeah. So yeah, I think you know which which you're kind of alluding to. I would I would kind of have to step back, remember where I was, and remember who I was. Was at that time to really kind of get that the, the essence of that character again.、Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah. With the、uh, dialogue within Shamu,、um, I mean, it is, it has got a reputation for the, the English voice acting has got a reputation. You know, not a bad rap. I mean, I personally enjoy it. I love it. But a lot of people tend to think that it's,、um, I don't know, that's outspoken or that I can't find the right word. But、um, was was that a process、um, from it? Being obviously written in Japanese first and coming into English, would you think there was like,、uh, how how was the translation of that game when you were actually working on it? Was it was it pretty straightforward or was it dotted all around the place? Did you know how the story, you know, how the story was unfolding? Or yeah,、um, they they had a full translation of the script. They had worked with、um, some. Some translators, you know, native speaking translators on the project and everything,、yeah. and you know, it's funny. I, I, I had、uh, discussed this before,、um, even with even with Eric,、uh, uh, Eric Kelso, who played、uh, you know a myriad of characters. There's、uh, mm-hmm. played Quizan, he played、uh, Fukusan, he played、uh, Ren,、mm-hmm. and you know, he's he's always been that that、uh, pivotal character、uh, that that's around、uh, Ryo Hazuki, right? So.、Mm-hmm. Um, it, when, so yeah, okay, so the, the the dialogue or the voice acting, as you say, yeah, maybe you could describe it as quirky. I don't know, maybe yeah, it's yeah,、uh, yeah, yeah, it's got a charm, it's got a certain charm to it. it yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, it does have a definite certain charm to it, a、yeah. lasting charm. So we we um. It, it, it's funny. Okay, so when we did the voiceover, we we there were some parts of it that were very straightforward that we could that we could、uh, voice、uh, the way that we kind of thought. But of course, so, how some of the lines are, how、uh, how how they want it to be said sometimes、mm. is very different. And I remember even uh, uh, you know me and Eric Kelso in particular. Or we would kind of be like, "Hey, you know, this 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 does sound strange." It,、uh, you know, particularly the the lines themselves sound、yeah. a little bit strange,、mm-hmm. or the way that we are are directed to say it sounds a little bit,、um, you know, it just sounds different. It just sounds a little、um, off. But the, the one thing that they specifically said to us, and and, and this was a little bit of a、um, a little bit of a back and forth between us and the team, is that, is that they said, "Well." Yes, it is being translated、um, into English、uh, for, for various parts, you know, United States, Canada, and Europe, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So,、um, however, we don't want it to sound too American. We we we、uh, still want that Japanese sound, that ja- right. Japanese 
um, flavor to the characters. We don't want to lose too much of the original um, like feeling that. or original yeah, yeah, essence yeah. of the game. Uh, so there was quite a bit of back and forth. And we said, yeah, yeah, okay, we understand that. But hey, you know, this sounds like... Of course, everybody knows about the whole sailors thing. Is this sounds <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sailors yeah. for uh, for a very particular reason, and and they they understood what we were saying, you know. Yeah. But they said they said yeah, we we don't want to lose um that that original intent uh, of of the story and the game and everything else. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. so and and you know what? And like and like you said, that's what makes Shenmu so great in yeah, so many exactly. ways right yeah you have this very uh classic story you know there's this revenge story there's this uh character who has um issues about his father and about living up to his uh standards and you know so there's these you know big grand um classic stories that we all know and love and it's a really mm really great you know it's a revenge story and it's a really it's really uh epic and there's this really uh opposing character that just seems impossible to defeat but there's this quest so yeah so there's all this great stuff and then and then there's the the funny things that we can all laugh at and have a good time and just think like <laughs> oh my god I can't believe, you know what's going on here but I, that that's certainly what makes shenmue so enduring um that just so many people uh ha have a love for all of it, for the whole aspect of the game, and 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 it couldn't. It, in the end, it couldn't have turned out any better, in my opinion, it's just because it's got. It's so many people love it for so long now, so it's it's done yeah. something right. So so with the games, have you actually completed number one and two yourself, or? Sure, you know, um, one thing that they gave me when I arrived mm. in Japan is uh, a very coveted uh, uh, game where there is the original Japanese game. Uh, everything everything, and everybody is, uh, is uh, Japanese mm. as far as the voice actors are concerned. Mm. But it had English subs. Ah, nice. And yeah. All right. Nice. They, they gave me that game to play. So mm. they, they gave me Dreamcast when I first got there. Gave me... And uh, so I would, I was able to play the games myself in Japanese with English subs. So I, I just played the game as, mm. as, uh, as just a regular player, you know. Mm. So they, they would allow me to do that. They, they, uh, uh, so, and then, you know, the, I guess the all the scripts that they gave me, it's, it's funny. I ended up playing those games for a while, and even I couldn't find all of the secrets myself, you know, without a guide, you <laughs> yeah. know. And I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some crazy secrets in this game that I was voicing, and that I I never even personally found. I guess I just, just ended up being too busy in the end. But um, yeah, I played all I played all those games all the way through. Nice. And they they always gave me a massive script too, so there's mm. there's not a whole lot of um, surprise i guess you know what i mean i mm. i had um they, they gave me whole story whole story arcs they nice. gave me what was going on in the game uh but yeah they man they just gave me these massive scripts every day yeah and yeah. uh so I was able to um read ahead quite a bit and know what was nice. going on but you know like i said plus i was playing the games myself so i had yeah. a pretty pretty strong knowledge mm. and, and and you know it's it's interesting too because they they um they're well it's really kind of the japanese way but uh over there at sega they they do massive amounts of research um on the project you know the the the, the game takes place a few years um yeah a few years ago in a different time and japan japan itself was in a different time a different even economic uh uh st uh stance of where they are now but so they, they they would go to towns and they would they would take pictures and they would do drawings and they would they would bring all that stuff back and sort of have this mass amount of information and you know they would map out towns and I mean before they even started the game they had all this you know just pictures and yeah. you know they did the same thing with part two as well they would actually they actually went to China they took a whole team to China 
and and said, well, we you know we really want to get the essence of the buildings and the just how even just how roads go into into yeah. towns and how bridges look and just small details. I remember even seeing small details of um, the very the, the very structures of the bridge, or if there was some sort of uh, detail on it that was specifically Chinese. You know, like oh, yeah. they they don't yeah. really build. Um, you know this particular structure, or the, even just the, the the tops of a pillar, or something like that. Anyway, yeah. Mm. It's funny. Else, uh, this is very Chinese. And... If it's funny, a couple of episodes uh, we, we had a discussion about uh, some of the locations in the game, and uh, on the last episode, uh, you mentioned something about this, Key, didn't you? The way you come out of one of the areas and the yeah. walls, like uh, mm. is such a Japanese yeah. design. Yeah. And... As I, yeah. As I said in one of our previous um, podcasts that we did, Corey. We touched on kind of like more or less the architecture that was involved, obviously, in the areas with the game, and how you stepped out and how Japanese it felt, um, just you know, with the structures that surrounded you. Um, and I said, yeah. and obviously, what, and obviously, and obviously, what you've just mentioned now, in terms of, it sounds like it was a very meticulous process, in terms of what they were, you know, in terms of the actual um, uh, research into the game, which is, you know, something an insight, which, uh, as you said, from an Asian uh, perspective, is something which I find really, really interesting. Um, I can't say so much, obviously, with the Western game and development, but from an Eastern element, you know, um, it goes to show how, as you said, how meticulous and how thorough they are with research and you know, development, etc. Yeah, they they definitely um, did the best they could within the confines of the game to, and and that's that's one reason what what made Shenmue at the time so um, so different, you know, that they yeah. that they really yeah. tried hard. To get um, the feeling that I mean, you they they really wanted somebody to step out of their house, you know, their reality. Yeah. Their if if you're doing the English translation, most likely you're probably in the states or Europe or something. They wanted you to leave all of that behind mm. and to to step into Japan and uh, for yeah. those few hours, you know, and they it's they like really a holiday, wasn't it? A holiday, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Great stuff. Let's get it. Get it. I I was going to say, I think they did a really good job, um, just trying within 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 the confines that they were working in to to give you the real feeling of being somewhere else. Do you know? uh, Do you know much about the Sailor Saturn version? Do you know? uh, uh, Were you ever involved uh, with that stage, or was it when it went to the Dreamcast that you were involved? Yeah, it was uh, Dreamcast only when I was involved. Uh, um, mm. They, uh, I, I did see, um, I did see some of the previous work they had done. Uh, I, if I remember correctly, I, it's, it's. I'm searching my memory banks right now. I do remember some of the, uh, some, of the visuals, and I think I even saw uh, that may have been later. Or actually, I may have just saw that on YouTube later, but I think I even saw some of the uh, some of the um, uh, I guess digital ac- or like uh, animation or something like that that they had done on 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 that. But yeah. right. they the, the thing is is that so everything was already completed. They had uh, completely finished the project. It was already released in Japan at the time. The, Thing mm. is that right? Yeah, the, the, everything was already done and finished. So yeah, it was it was Dreamcast at the time, and mm. like I said, they even gave me Dreamcast version to play. So I didn't I did not see a whole lot of that actually until later. Uh, you know, I, I looked up some of the some of the things that, that people had posted, and like I said, I think it was on YouTube and stuff like that that people had posted. And I thought, wow, that's that's pretty interesting. And I, unfortunately, I did not get a uh, a chance to to be a part of that at all. But cool. So, okay. so cool. moving away from Shenmue, um, you're obviously a voice actor. But how how did you get into voice acting? Um, is it an easy process? Um, um well, I, I mean, I tell the story like this. Uh, I'll tell you the story, and then I'll and then I'll follow up. The thing is, is that okay. um, I I I I kind of fell into it in a way because, uh, like I had. St- uh, stated previously, I had uh, been studying in college to uh, I was studying uh, ballet and modern dance, mm-hmm. and um, 
I was looking at auditions at the time, and there was uh, in the backstage, which is just a publication,、uh, basically of auditions that、uh, that people could attend.、Um, and I saw that there was man, just a really small article, just a couple of inches,、um, said、um, voice voice actors needed to to you know something like voice video game、uh, three to three to four months in Japan. And that's what got my attention. I was like, "Oh、yeah. well,、uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm an actor. I would love to <laughs> live in Japan for a little while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not?、Mm. So yeah, I auditioned for it, and、um, yeah, they had me audition for right away. They just saw that I was a,、cool. a young man. They had me audition for Hazuki, and、um, I basically just voiced it almost the way that I. Speak, and、um, you know, again, you know, just Japanese mentality. They're very quiet. They didn't even say anything to me. They were just behind the glass, and they were kind of just talking a little bit. And、uh, they said, "Okay, thank you." And I was like,、uh, "Oh, do you, do you want me to change anything?" And they said, "No, thank you."、Oh, and I was like, "Okay, all right." I guess、uh, they they didn't really. Like it? I wish they could have asked me to do something different, but oh well, <laughs> I tried.、Hmm. Um, two days later, they call me back for um, uh, 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 to, to 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 come back and try and and to and for for a、uh, for a, not a retry, but a a, a callback.、Hmm. So they called、yeah. me back, and I thought, oh great.、Um, so they did like me. All right, okay. So I went back and I went in the studio. And、um, apparently there were some other people there. They said the director was there, so I don't know if that means that Yusuzuki was behind the glass、Ooh. or what. Right.、Yeah. But、um, I did. I didn't. St- I didn't see this. This you know, it's just this tiny, tiny little window.、Mm. I could see、mm. the guy behind the board mixing the sound, but that's about it. Yeah.、Um, and so、uh, they asked me if they could, if I could change my pitch just a little bit, just tiny bit higher. You know, just to, because the character is a little younger, he was 18.、Yeah. If they, if I could just sound slightly, just bring up the pitch one notch, and I said, yeah, sure. So I did it, and、um, again, like it's so it's it was for me it was very different audition. It's just like I did a couple of lines, silence. Okay,、right. thank you. And、uh, and that was it. You know, I went home, and then literally again, I think it was very soon. It was a few days. Probably a week or less.、Uh, um, they called me and said that I that I got the part. You know. Oh, nice. You no, know? and I was really surprised.、Mm. Right. You know, because、uh, I, I I just yeah okay. I guess they just like my voice. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have、nice. to. I didn't have to do character voices because, you know, I'm just.、Uh, I, I, I'm a video game player. I like to do character voices or whatever, you know. And I, you know, I liked animation at the time, and well, I mean, I still do.、Yeah. But it's just like they didn't ask me to do anything. They just asked me to to, to basically be me. Oh right. <laughs> and that's yeah. That's, yeah. I think that's why that's, they cast me because they just liked me. They liked the voice. They,、uh, you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I just I just tried to imagine. Uh, a young man who was a martial artist, who was Japanese, who、mm. you know, who's kind of stoic, who doesn't need to say a whole lot, but when he says something, it's you know,、like、it's、meaning. with intent. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so I just try to Im- imagine that kind of、uh, individual,、mm. and that's just how I acted it, and that's how they liked、oh, it. So、um, I-, I got into voice acting,、um, kind of, I don't know. Kind of serendipitously, right? Just kind of almost、Got、by accident. Like I didn't. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of weird.、Yeah. Um, so, so, so you could say、uh, that I got into voice acting. Maybe it looks easy from the outside. But the thing is, is that I want to stress to anybody out there that it's not. You're just not going to go to an audition and get. You know. Oh yeah. Oh no, of course not. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a very kind of、um, meticulous process? Is that I had, of... I had been, I had been studying. Well. I mean, the thing is that I had dedicated my life since I was just a young、uh, man to、uh, mm. theater. I had been doing live theater since I was twelve,、mm. oh, wow. and I had been in the business up that see up at that point.、Um, how old was I? Twenty. So, 
Um, yeah, so I had been in there for I guess eight, well, eight years at this point. I just oh, had yes. been doing uh, everything. I, I, yeah. I taken I took modeling classes when I was young. I I, I did. Uh, um, um, I studied martial continued to study martial arts because I knew that would be a valuable in film. I started doing um, extra things in film. I, st I started trying to get soldier parts and th there's a lot of things like the, the Rough Riders that was in Texas and I think uh, what else was filming out there it was uh, the, the Chuck Norris um, <laughs> <laughs> What, what was, Chuck was Norris. Texas uh, yeah the, the, the uh, Texan Texas Ranger Te is that the one you're on about? Texas Ranger yeah yeah, yeah, Texas remember, Rangers. I remember, so I remember that. Uh, I remember that. Yeah, done, done small roles in that, and so cool. cool. And I, the thing that I really loved the most was theater. So most of my time in theater, and I had just been studying theater and acting, um, you know, for for my for my entire uh, you know young life, it seems, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah. I had been, you know, time before. Mm. I had yeah yeah it's just it's if if people want to get into the business just get you know start start like oh okay that's not nice, right that's huge jobs and yeah. you know <laughs> that's really good well actually talking about um with your uh, with your voice acting uh, background as you mentioned obviously um animation i myself am a big anime fan i've been a big anime fan for about the last oh god 15 years or so now um, I did notice um, as well that were you involved in Boogie Pop Phantom? Um, yeah, I sure. Uh, yeah, I sure was. Oh wow! I said I, I believe it or not, I actually own the series, but I've yet to actually watch it. So, um, in terms of say, you know, the animation okay. and uh, in terms of the animation and uh, sorry, the anime and um, the video game kind of uh, voice acting, um, are there any differences between the two, or is it just um, the, the same up to some degree? Sure. Uh, well, with um, anime, there is the there is the issue with uh, it's already been it's already been made in the sense that the lips are static. They will always be that way. <laughs> you know, you can't yeah. go back and change no. it. So no. a lot of times, when you write out a script, you'll have to uh, change the script. Or uh, change the timing of the words, and right. uh, sometimes you'll have to just change the the, the word to fit. The... Yeah, yeah. Try and try and squeeze it in as much uh, as you can. Because back in the day, they, you know, some people didn't care. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, it didn't yeah. Good, but nowadays, of course, we obviously try to get our our words matched with the lips. Mm. So that's yeah. that's one thing. So that that was that was always kind of. Uh, puzzle to fit are we gonna say this to fit to fit the lips you know yeah yeah <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah with the games and that's and that's actually something that made uh, Shen different at the time is that they were able to uh change um they were able to go back change the uh change the lip movement to actually match us so oh, nice. they they scrapped they, everything else was built, but they scrapped the Japanese lip movement, and they were able to match that better with our dialogue. Mm -hmm. So that was a lot easier. That was a lot. That was a lot. Uh, you know, it was just easier for us as actors, and it was it was mm -hmm. better for for everybody, I think, in general, mm -hmm. because they were just you know, it was it was digital, so they're able to go cool. go back and fix it. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. With a uh, with the news obviously being confirmed that you're going to be on board with Shamu Free. Um... If they contacted you as to where you're going to go and do the recording, uh, you're going to be going to Japan again, or? Yeah, that was uh, that's that's a big question. Um, you know, uh, I know that um, uh, Suzuki's team. Hmm. I, you know, see the thing. I I know that it's going to be different now. Uh, hmm. So I, I'm wondering if they are going to be coming here, uh, particularly to. LA because there's a gazillion of us out here mm. that are voice actors mm. um, to, uh, to 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 voice the project. I'm wondering if that's what they're going to do. Mm. Um, I am not privy to any sort of inside information at this point. Oh, I don't know. No. Right. I don't know if it's going to be <laughs> in, in Japan, <laughs> yeah, or if it's going to be in LA. So that that's a big 
question on my point. I'm, I'm, on my part, I'm thinking, hmm, I, don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> they, they would certainly have access to a an ocean of, of people mm-hmm. out here in, uh, in, in L.A. To, to, to voice the project. And I remember that was always something. Um, and there, there's more, more now, but back in uh, 2000, there was, you know, there were, you know, less people yeah. that were able to. Uh, to, to, to voice the projects and I remember that they ended up getting um, people to, to voice gosh know, five sometimes more you know if, mm. if somebody like Paul had a whole bag full of uh, characters they let him do you know what I mean they let him do four five six ten characters you know just because <laughs> they're like oh yeah they're the old man you know on the on the corner could you voice him too and he's like oh yeah, yeah sure you know and he'd do his voice and they would just be like oh great cool so you know somebody like somebody like paul lucas is gold to to the to the team in japan because he yeah. was he was voicing he had just a, just had so many characters to pull out of his bag <laughs> but um so that, that was always an issue to find enough people to to, to voice the hundreds and hundreds of characters in the game mm. but here in the states they wouldn't have that problem so yeah i don't know that's that's a good question well i guess we'll, we'll have to find out <laughs> yeah yeah Ho- hopefully space. hopefully you get another free trip to uh japan <laughs> you know i know see see that that's just it I, if, if i could somehow be like hey guys I don't know. You know, it might be more comfortable for you to be in Japan. Because <laughs> hey, I, I, <laughs> I would not hate it. The thing is, is that so again, things are different, right? I'm older now, now, and I have a family. So yeah. if I yeah, go spend three to, months yeah. in Japan, that oh, man, I'm gonna be away from my daughter. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah. that's not cool. But maybe I could uh, say, maybe you could hook me up with an apartment, and my oh, yes, you never know. Family yeah. could come with. Me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. true, very we'll true. My uh, my wife is a uh, recruiter. Um, she does recruiting for everything for tech and, and for mortgage. And she's very okay. she's a very smart cookie. Oh, so nice. she could literally work from anywhere. I mean, she could work from Japan if she wanted to. So well, why not? Fingers crossed, man. Fingers That's crossed. True. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Very true. Well, um, as, um, as I mentioned before, um, oh, sorry, if you did, did you have another question? No, no, it's fine. I say continue, James. I said I'll, I'll, I'll ask afterwards. It's not a problem. Oh, okay. Um, well, I was just going to move on to the community questions. So if, if you have another question, uh, let rip, man. I said, um, Corey, so you mentioned, obviously, with your martial arts background. Um, as I said, I, myself, and my brother, uh, me, myself more so, um, we've been entrenched in martial arts for a very long time, um, since about the age of myself, from around about eight. And remember, James, you are about six. I think so. Um, yeah. Yeah. Around about that, I said. I know we've studied many. Uh, I said many, many forms of martial arts. Uh, the base foundation for myself and James was actually Taekwondo. Um, from <clears> there, um, we kind of obviously entrenched a bit further on. Um, Lao Ga Kung Fu is something which I did for a, a short while, which was very interesting, very different. Um, a bit of jujitsu as well. Yeah, jujitsu, yeah. tele- te- te- telephone box fighting, as uh, as <laughs> they say to me, which I totally agree with. Mm. And <laughs> no, I said it, it, it's absolutely amazing. And you know, I, I would say from from yourself, obviously, as you mentioned, obviously, you know that you've studied martial arts and everything. Have you, have, have you dipped your toes in other forms, or is it just stick stick to one kind of uh, baseline? Yeah, um, you know, <clears throat> uh, I think what happens to a lot of us. Is mm. that um, we'll we'll start out in Taekwondo because that's uh, what's right next to us, right? I mean, this yeah. seems like there's, no, there's no, that's true. There's a Starbucks on one corner. And <laughs> yeah, the yeah. yeah, no, on, that's true. Yeah, right? It's like that in <laughs> the UK. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. So when I when I was young, yeah, that was uh, I I lived um, in a small town in Texas, yeah. and uh, when I was young, yeah, that that's what was there. There was Taekwondo, nice, nice so thing. that's where I started out with. Cool. Nice. Okay. And, and uh, awesome. I Did studied you studied that? Gosh, for for a while. I had gone. Yeah. I think I was all the way up until I was ten years old. So I had studied it for several oh, right. years. Okay. And um, I was with the American Taekwondo Association. And um, so yeah. And then when I started moving to larger cities like uh, San Antonio, Texas, there was more options. Yeah. So yeah, I did. I. I I branched out myself, man. I studied everything mm-hmm. from uh, karate to cop weta to um, oh, I studied Fu Jiao Pai, the Tiger Claw system, kung fu. Nice. I studied 
um you know yeah I, I oh yeah and then uh, i started getting into to 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 grappling arts right like like uh like hapkido and judo and yeah. um uh, I, uh, I, I, unfortunately, I never got a chance to study uh, jujitsu, so I've been having to st study that on my own with <laughs> with my friends in the park, <laughs> yeah. with grass and dirt getting in my face. But hey, you know, it's it's got to learn. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> no. right. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. That's true. Are you but, still um? Are you still studying now? Or you know the uh, uh, not since my daughter was born. Every, you know, no. basically, yeah, um, yeah. Every, everything in my life is now <laughs> dedicated yeah. to my daughter. It's funny, people yeah. were talking about, like, hey, what games do you play now? And I'm like, uh, Clash of Clans. Cause <laughs> that, awesome, that, awesome, that, game. awesome game. Awesome game. Awesome game. That, that's what's on my on my mobile device. So yeah. it's that's what, what it's I'm what, playing. It's what's the hand. It's what's the hand. Yeah, exactly. But you know, it's funny. Now that my daughter's getting a little bit older, she's playing games uh, on on the mobile devices. But she's she's playing stuff like Minecraft, and she's playing um, you know older yeah. games now. And I'm thinking, hey, uh, now that you're older, it might be time to get a system again, and we can play we can play together. You know, so. <laughs> the Super Nintendo or something. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. I'll finally get a a system again and be able to to play. Uh, you know. Um, more expansive games but hey man mobile's come a long way there's actually oh. some there's actually some pretty good games out no, there they're right. looking forward to seeing what the 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 future of mobile is going to to bring us because yeah. there's there's some interesting stuff out there oh, and it, and, it, and it is the future anyway i mean everybody's all over it yeah yeah digital, yeah, so, all going uh, digital as well it's, it's not good yeah <laughs> so yeah as far as my uh martial arts is concerned gosh man the last thing that i studied um, was a, 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 a actually another Korean system. It's called uh, Kuksu Wan, and oh, uh, they, uh, one, you know, re one reason why I liked that is because they had they did have a lot of um, man joint locks, joint manipulation, and um, you know grappling techniques. But they also had a lot of weapons as well. Oh, a lot oh, of weapons, course. everything from oh. uh, the the crook stick to to spear to everything and i and i thought that i thought that was kind of uh, interesting and uh 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 the the uh the instructor that i had oh i'm trying to remember his first name um uh, master gross was his uh was his name i'm trying to remember his first name he uh he actually uh was in the fbi and he oh, wow. uh actually actually taught um he he was uh teaching uh members of the or uh um people in the in the fbi uh the martial arts so he had been he, he, he was he was great he was a great instructor and i learned a lot from him but uh yeah i mean i i'm never finished i you know maybe oh. uh um, when things change maybe if my daughter gets a little bit older and she's spending more time at school because mm -hmm. um you know now now i have to pick her up and drop her off and all that kind of stuff but maybe if she's spending more time at school maybe hey i'd be able to get back into martial arts again i i, I kind of feel like like i'm never done may go oh, find man. some you know there's actually some uh some mma schools up where i live actually big john mccarthy school is not too far from where i live mm -hmm. and uh, um uh, uh there's there's several brazilian jiu-jitsu jitsu places near me like man maybe i could finally get into uh uh jude class or uh, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, yeah, or, or something. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'm never finished. In other words, can you for the rest of my life? It's something that, yeah, is uh, not only important for me mentally, but also mm -hmm. physically as well. Uh, and, yeah. and and I love I love everything that goes with martial arts. So I'm never done. Yeah. I will always continue. Yeah, yeah it, is, no, I, it truly is a lifestyle, isn't it, martial arts? No, it, it is. It is. Yeah. I I definitely second that. What you mentioned is said. You know, with regards to obviously, you know dipping your toes in different arts as i said it it white you know it opens your mind um to obviously um the possibilities and you know the the pros and cons of different systems um and obviously what you can take from that and make your own for sure and you know um um the, with the popularity of uh, mixed martial arts right now yeah well i mean the, the thing is that there's they're still kind of playing a game right you you there there are a lot of rules that they have to that they have to abide by and understand that yeah. but yeah when when you are um studying your own martial arts mm. and uh you are able to uh seriously engage 
um, other people. I mean, obviously, we're not trying to we're not trying to hurt each other, but we're just yeah. trying to figure out what what works for us, right? So, mm-hmm. if there are if there are certain things that we can take from certain martial artists, I mean, everybody is different. Everybody's body is different. Everybody's you yeah. know just slightly different in slightly different ways. You know, I mean, our bodies are like fingerprints. We're we're all just a little bit different. So you kind of need to find things that 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 work for you. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, uh, when 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 there's a when there is no rules, you know things can yeah, be yeah. real different. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So anybody who's thinking about uh, all you need is Brazilian jiu-jitsu and kickboxing, and you're set. Well, that that works. That works great in an octagon. That works awesome in an octagon. But um, you know, in the real world's obviously a little different. So yeah, yeah. you know, you're 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 wearing clothes. People have yeah. knives. Uh, That's true. That's <laughs> you know. True. No, no. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. So so yeah, I, I kind of feel like definitely people need to find out what works for them and uh and and that's that's what i love about yeah studying different kinds of martial arts because i you know there actually there's been some some things that i've learned that just are so if when i'm when i'm sparring with people and it's like you know i didn't i i just for example kooks the one i i there's there's a particular move that that i, I have there's a there's a wrist lock that works really well for me mm. and uh um, and it didn't learn that anywhere else, but for in Cooks of One, and that 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 uh, um, it, it, I, I encourage people to go out there and find things that work for them. But hey, if they want to fight in the octagon, you know, go go find yourself a, a, an MMA gym, and you will you will master that particular art. Go for it. You know, do do it do it do what's good for you. So. Shadow of that. All right, sweet. Yeah, well, what we'll do now, Corey? We'll uh, move on to the uh, community questions we've managed to gather. Um, there's quite a few, but uh, most of them you have actually answered uh, already in this conversation. <laughs> um, so I'll just uh, skip through them and have a quick check. Uh, right, Brian Murphy uh, on YouTube asks, uh, are you aware if any of the other original cast members of the English crew were coming back for number three? Yeah, um, uh, the short answer is no. Um, they they are not ha- they have not been uh, confirmed just yet, and I think uh, the reason is that I had, as I had stated earlier, um, when projects get made, um, first of all, I believe what they're doing. I believe they're doing the same routine as they've done before. This is what I think is happening. I, I, I I'm not sure, but I think they are going to do the Japanese version first. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then they're going to do the the uh, the English version afterwards. Oh, yeah. right. I believe I believe that's what's happening. So in that case, even I wouldn't be confirmed until much later. But again, I think because there was so much, you know, so much outpouring that yeah. that they they yeah. said, "Hey, would you like to come back?" And so yeah, so I did. Um, uh, so uh, I've said this. I've also said this before to to some to some people. If if you want these people back, let it be known. If yeah. um, if you would like Eric Kelso back, let them let them know about it. If you yeah. would like Liesl back, Liesl voices awesome character. She's she's an amazing uh, female character actor. She's she uh, all of the all of the characters that she did were, were just great. If you want Liesl back, let let them know. You know. <laughs> yeah. So uh, because the thing is, is that I'm I'm just. Standing here, thinking Shinmu fans can get anything done. I mean, anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. Because of because of all this time, you know, I I I've said, uh, um, you know, if Yu Suzuki's gonna go form his own company and start making games, I think the last thing on his mind is a 14 year old game that um, maybe maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Uh, it's actually it's. Uh, uh, it's actually in the hands of somebody else, you know. Mm-hmm. Sega owns the rights to it, and I, I don't, I don't think he was thinking, "Oh yeah, that's that's the project I really wanted." The thing is, is that he he's he's made 
statements like when he's going through life and making more games and doing stuff, people are always like, hey, how's it doing? Oh, yeah, I really love your work. Hey, by the way, are you going to make Shenmue again? <laughs> I know, yeah, where's, where's the free? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, he, <laughs> he's mentioned it. He's like, it's always followed me everywhere. And I think, yeah, yeah. Um, again, when when he goes out and, and makes his, makes his own um, company and everything, I think he was probably just like, yeah, okay, I'll make three. I have to, you know, because everybody <laughs> yeah, yeah, keeps talking yeah. about it. Yeah. So I think Shenmue fans can get anything done. I really do. So if they want these people back, uh, you can do it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> let, let them know that, that you want them back and, 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 it, and it will happen. Um, but yeah, we there's some there's some great people out there that that really should be back for the next project, and I, I really hope that they uh, hope hope that see that the thing is is that I still live in Japan. Excuse me, and I mentioned um, Paul Lucas before. He's now in Singapore, you know, so he's doing uh, voices out in Singapore right now. He's doing a lot of uh, animation, uh, or I guess he's doing. Uh, I think he's doing. I think again, he's doing everything. I think he's doing educational stuff. He's doing animation. He's doing. Uh, I think. Anyway, he's very busy out there. But it's like, okay, well, you know, are, are, are we? We're, we might have to fly him in Japan or to the states or whatever the case may be. But um, we're we're a little bit more spread out now. I know Liesel is on the road all the time. She's here in the States, she's back in Japan, she's doing something else, she's always at some convention somewhere. She's you know, she's she's like a road warrior at this point. She's <laughs> <Road everywhere. warrior>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. And uh so, so I think she will be able to just show up wherever in the world. If they said bring it in Guam, she'll be able to show up, you know. So cool. Well uh, we'll move on to a second question uh from James Reiner. Um, will you ever let your daughter play Shenmue? Oh yeah, oh for sure. Um, it's funny. She, she knows that I'm that I, <laughs> I you know here here in LA I do all kinds of stuff. Um, you know I've, I've stunts and music videos and producing and I mean she knows what I do. Mm, yeah. But um, she loves games and um she loves dude she's she's one of those people that goes onto youtube and watches uh you know let's play whatever um, you know yeah, let's play minecraft and all yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 so she she loves that stuff hmm. and she she loves going on watch and um a while back um, like, um, you know, Daddy does that too. My my wife was saying, and my daughter was like, "Oh yeah, really?" And so yeah, my my wife went onto YouTube and showed her Shenmue. Oh, nice. And I remember nice. seeing my daughter's yeah. face light up. You know, like what? My, my dad it's does Daddy. this too. It's Daddy. You know? so, yeah, and, and and the thing is, is that my my voice is very recognizable. I mean. Yeah. I, I, I can't. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't have to change it. So she knows it's me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. And so I remember seeing her face light up, and she thought it was really cool that I that I did a video game as well. And uh, so yeah, I would I would love for her to play Shenmue. You know, like I said, maybe oh, if we could get all the previous versions to somehow be compatible oh, with our new system. Yeah, oh, that's so awesome. If only, if only. I, I don't yeah, know. that's what we wanted. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, collection. Let's do the collection. And uh, um, if it's somehow compatible, yeah, I would love to have her have her play. She Cool. Let's see, she'll be. She's only six and a half right now, but we might have to wait a couple more, yeah. more years. To... <laughs> a couple more years, yeah. A couple more years, yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, a, another question I'd like to go on to um, Corey is from uh, James Reiner again. Um, if mm -hmm. you could voice, if you could voice any game character you wanted outside of Shenmue, um, who would oh. it? Be? Oh, that is a good question. It is a it is a very it's good a question. <laughs> Jeez. I, I don't even know if I can answer that right now. Um, um, damn. Uh, 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 there's there's so many choices. Like I don't even know what to say. What 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 are some characters that you guys love? Um, so, Solid Snake. <laughs> yeah, that's a great one. Right? Yeah, love that one. Mm. Um, let's see. I would love to play. You know, I don't know. 
it's funny. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it, and I think like classic voices. I think like some sort of like. See, I don't know if I'd be good for that though. You know what I mean? Like, I, see, the, thing, <laughs> the thing is that I totally make uh, made fun of the the Batman voice or whatever. You know, <laughs> you know, like uh, you know, like the uh, where are you going? You know, that kind of stuff. And I, <laughs> yeah. And I think, yeah. well, could I do a classic character? Could I do it? Could I do a Batman or could I do a yeah? yeah. You know, so, so my my ultimate goal, maybe someday I'll be able to play a Jedi. Maybe in some, oh, awesome. you know, awesome. some yeah. Star Wars game somewhere in the future. Whether it's uh, you know games that I really love, like Star, uh, like Knights of the Old Republic, oh, or nice. good choice, um, good choice on that. Yeah, awesome. may, maybe yeah, some some Star Wars game down the road. I somehow. I want one of my characters to have a lightsaber. Maybe, <laughs> maybe if it's uh, let's see, they uh, see see so many great characters. They've already they've already voiced. Oh man, maybe if we get a game with um, maybe with Darth Bane or something. That would that would be cool. Maybe, he he, he is he is a, an opposing character. I would definitely have to. Hmm. I would definitely have to get more manly on that one. I have to, I'd maybe I'd have to smoke, uh, you know, thirty packs of cigarettes a day for the next few years. And maybe gargle with some glass or something. But yeah, maybe maybe some dark, dark bane or something. That'd be kind of cool. Talking about Star Wars, are you, are you obviously looking forward to the new film. Yeah. Yeah, I am. You know, I've talked to some people who are skeptical, you know, and I've talked to some people who are absolutely losing their mind over it. They think it's going to be the greatest thing ever. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I, I think I'm excited about it. I, I think I am. I've, I've seen the previews, uh, all of them, and I've seen, you know, people breaking them down. I've, I, you know, people go on to the pe people on YouTube go on to the and they they freeze frame everything and they talk oh, about yeah. the frame for like yeah. thirty minutes, you yeah, know. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so I watched that and I'm like, yeah, I think that looks pretty interesting. I think I'm pretty excited for it. I'm I'm cautiously optimistic. I think I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. I, I I'm excited. What type of Star Wars fan are you then? A prequel fan or an original fan? The big um, yeah. Are you saying the, the big one, divide. two, three? Are you saying one, two, three, or four, five, six? Yeah, four, four, five, six. Yeah, four, four five, five, six. Yeah. Or oh, one, two, three. I, oh, man. I, well, I mean, the thing is, I grew up on four, five, six. Yes. I mean, that's those yeah. are the movies that I watched over and over and over again when I was a kid. You know, um, so that's just the oh, and of course, um, and not to get on a star wars rant here but yeah of course the original <laughs> versions right mm. if you're going to digitally remaster it that's okay you want to touch it up just don't take that off. hair out of the corner <laughs> maybe you know and yeah. i understand that you know mm. but but don't don't mess this is why i equate it to so let's just say um after the mona lisa um has been out for a while you know and uh uh, you know, like, oh, you know, I just, I don't think the smile is quite right. I think I want to change, <laughs> change the smile just a little. No, 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 it's already out. Don't touch it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's, I, I just kind of feel like, um, once, once a film, like, like ET as well. I mean, do we, do we need no. to go back and and change ET? No, no we don't. No, I, I, I kind of feel like. Well, what, well, what are the things which got me? You know, I don't know if so you. Can... Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry, Corey. I said one thing, obviously, you mentioned, obviously, about, how can I put it, Hollywood remaking classics, you know, as they say. Sure. Um, one one thing that got me, which I read a little while ago, is uh, Back to the Future. Please don't remake those films. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. That can't happen. Yeah, I kind of feel, yeah, I kind of feel like if you want to um, revitalize a franchise or something, maybe you could do another theatrical release. I don't, I don't think oh, you need yeah, to... Sure remake something you know or i don't think you need to uh, th there can be other ways to drum up um something that's you know old that is just awesome you know i just yeah. i think that you know when kids today I, I mean i show my daughter films that i grew up I mean, for example et or whatever you know what i mean i mean that's yeah. stuff that i grew up watching and she loves that you know and you yeah, don't yeah. need to if you re-release some things Maybe you could bring it to a younger audience, and they'll go see it in the theaters, and they'll they'll be like, "Oh, I didn't know that this existed. This is awesome. Let's let's watch this," you know. And like I said, I've I've um, 
I now have rebought some old classics, God, that I had on whatever VHS or yes. something, you know, that I, <laughs> that I haven't awesome. owned in years. Yeah. And yeah. so, uh, you know, I keep going back to ET. I showed my daughter ET and she loved it. So yeah, we, we own ET now. And then, and it's like, that's, that's something that was made God when I was a kid. So, um, uh, yeah, with, with classics, I kind of feel like we don't, and, and, and another thing too, I, oh man, this is okay. So I don't want to get off on a Hollywood rant here, but <laughs> go, for, go for it, go for it, go for it. Feel free. But there, there, just there's just so many um, amazing stories out there that we, all, you know, and we hear about this from time to time. Stories that just get rejected. Anything? What? Why? How can this get? How can this story get rejected? But you know, they think, oh well, we need to make another Pocahontas. You know, <laughs> yeah. with with some different actors this time or we need to make um uh let's just say franchises that people love like uh like fast and furious right oh god yeah. like we need to make we need to make fast and furious 12 we just need <laughs> to make you know because <laughs> they kidding. know that if they spend uh you know 40 million dollars on fast and furious 12 that they know that they're all going to make a hundred million, two hundred million, five hundred million dollars in the first week, and they just they they had these mathematical formulas, and they know. I mean, people love Fast and Furious. That's that's great, you know. Mm. Go for it, but I, I just feel like there's other things to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there there are yeah. other things to do. Now now when I say that, we just talked about Star Wars, right? So Star Wars, we're going to be on our um, let's see, one, three, four, six, seven, eight, ninth film, you know? Okay. Yeah. So some things deserve to get made some things don't see that that's the question but i guess my point is is that there are so many stories out there that never get made um that that i just i i can't i can't believe there's like so many true stories there are so many true stories in history that we can make films that are just epic films but they're like well you know if we do another movie like amistad or if we do another movie like you know what i mean like that's gonna cost us hundred million dollars with all the extras and the gigantic sets that we have to like for example cleopatra when they made cleopatra oh my god the sets you know i mean oh, they yeah. built they built egypt you know and yeah and uh uh and, and oh my god i don't remember if you guys remember um when she's being carried in in uh on her you know throne there's just thousands and thousands of people out there i mean if he did that today oh man that would cost so much money and they oh, yeah, just yeah. they know yeah, they know that they can't spend 500 million dollars on an epic that's going to make 500 million dollars you yeah, know as like, yeah. you said man they're just trying to make money like you know it's, it's bad yeah. it's not it's not good no as you said turn a quick buck <laughs> yeah say. yeah but yeah, I mean the thing is, they have their formulas. They know. Um, they they just know. This is something that, and and occasionally they take risks, and just mm. most of the time they don't. Mm. You know, I mean that that's why they they know Fast and Furious or Star Wars. They know they're just gonna make tons of money off it, so they keep going. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, some of us love it, some of us don't. But uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 What, what could, what can you say? What, what can you say? They, they've been they've been uh, making lots of money for. <laughs> for well, power to a minute. Yeah. Thing is, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So if 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 they make if they make uh, you know if it's the, if the studio makes ten million dollars on the film, they consider that bad. You know, they're like, mm. oh, that that was a flop. We we only made ten million on that. Wow, that sucked. Yeah. <laughs> you I, know, that's but... all right. <laughs> no, it's true. That's yeah. true. I said, some, but ten, some indie make ten million dollars. That's that's a different story. So yeah, yeah. I said obviously, you know, you're going on about, you know, I would say, again, I feel, you know, we're all going on a rant now to do with Hollywood, etc. You know, that they're kind of playing it safe up to some degree, not running to take risks. Um, as I said, for instance, I'm kind of very much into my, I would say, I don't want to say arty, arty farty films, but you know, I do enjoy. You know that kind of um, that kind of uh, film. Like for instance, one of my all-time favorite films is uh, uh, the uh, the Fountain. I don't know if you ever ever, ever watched that. Oh yeah. yeah, I absolutely yeah. I love that film. The cinematography, everything about that film is just perfection for me. And and the, the thing is, is that um, films that are more cinematic 
yeah. um, that 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 are very oh, man that that you know that that actually to give you emotion on just how it looks you know yeah. like that <laughs> that that's you know a rare film in itself but the thing is is that people would rather just see shit blow up you know yep, that's, yeah, you're like, right. yeah. Yep, you're right so, so, yeah, so oh, he's, he's flying going... through space in a bubble when is he gonna meet galactus and they're gonna duke it out and then it's like planets yeah. are gonna explode and... <laughs> no i agree you know? i agree i agree you just you kind of feel like most people want to just go to this go to the cinema turn their mind off and just see something obviously they don't have to more or less think about yeah that makes sense you know for an hour or so um well sure in a way certainly it's it's, it's mm-hmm. escapism Espe- yeah. you know especially yeah. if you're going to the theater especially if you're going Very to the theater so. because you're in a, a a black box right with just <laughs> surrounded by sound and oh let's just say we are watching uh, another avengers film or something which um hey i like you know i'm i'm looking forward yeah. to some uh i'm looking forward to some justice league films let's get those out there <laughs> oh, but yes. i mean so so you're getting this sound that just penetrates your body and it makes your lungs rattle and and and, and so yeah you're going into another universe yeah you're escaping for a while so i think yeah a lot of people just want to be like let's just watch something awesome for a while you know it's almost like almost like yeah, a drug yeah. you know they're just like let's yeah, let's yeah. get out of this world for a few hours yeah yeah and, and we'll yeah. and we'll watch superman punch a hole through somebody's face let's do that <laughs> yeah. uh, if you watch the uh the recent batman versus superman trailer yeah let's what, what you i did oh you did what you think man what you, what think? you think what do you think? Well, uh, whoa, hold on, my my earpiece. Hold on. Okay. Um, yeah. So the new one, I mm-hmm. so we we caught a whole bunch of glimpses. Um, with the old one, we we're kind of wondering, are those red blasts? Uh, Superman? No, that doesn't really look like Superman's laser eyes. Why is Batman yeah. running away from that? So we we find out that. Um, it's this creature, which um, we're all assuming is their version of uh, Doomsday, Doomsday slash yeah. Zod's yeah. Uh, clone, kind of whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and also the 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 choices that they made with um, Lex Luthor are oh. kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. So bit, I mean, the yeah. thing is. Our, our big questions were are we going to accept for example Ben, ben Affleck as, as, as uh, Batman those were the questions before and I remember the previous one the previous uh, um, uh, uh, trailers where like he's running toward the collapsing building and he's holding that child and I thought hey you know what I, I, I'm kind of buying that a little bit. Yeah, that that, yeah. that kind of looks good. You know, I think I could accept that. That's and then you see the suit. You know, the the new suit that's like the suit does look cool. It does. It's like it's like 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 it's been melted or been dragged through concrete or you know something <laughs> that looks you know it looks pretty gritty. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Thought, mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm kind of buying that. That looks kind of cool. And then the third third one comes out and i'm like hmm now i need to think about this again i need to think about yeah. this again hmm. so yeah. so this is this is what i don't want to happen which is what a lot of studios do hmm. um if something doesn't work out a hundred percent they go back and they do a reboot right hmm. yeah and i think everybody's already talked about this but i'll say it again um don't do a reboot it, don't just don't do it like if you want to get a new spider-man that's fine get a new spider-man do it like james bond so you have a guy doing four james bond films and you're like okay i think it's time to go on to somebody else you don't reboot james bond no you keep going you do more films with a different guy and sometimes they have a guy in the film and like oh yeah he kind of didn't work out so we'll only do one film with that guy for well, whatever reason, like, he just didn't quite get the essence, or it just didn't quite come across the audiences. So whatever, but you don't reboot. You keep going. You do another James Bond film, and then you find somebody and you're like, oh, that guy's great. So you do four, five films with him. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so I feel the yeah. same thing with uh, uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. 
Superman doesn't need to be back in high school again. You know, he doesn't need no. to be. Uh, let, him, let him graduate, for God's sakes. Let him get out of school. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, don't don't uh, don't do a reboot. Just be like, hey, uh, I think it's time to go on with another actor. We'll hire somebody else who's different, who's current for this time that people either like or maybe a new guy who's this up and coming actor that we're going to showcase and he's Mm. gonna have a new cool awesome career because he just played Spider-Man and whatever just keep going Spider-Man has such long history and there's so many bad guys (laughs) you know what I mean and you don't have to defeat um, you know you don't have to defeat four four of the classic bad guys in one movie to make it exciting you don't you don't need to do that you know what i mean in fact you could do you could do three films with venom if you want i don't know just i for example like when uh they did the same thing with the fantastic four they they just thought that i don't know doom was uh just not worth uh to see the thing is doom is one of my like one of my favorite bad guys he's awesome isn't he (laughs) Yeah, yeah. He's so awesome, and so mm-hmm. they decided to not give any of give any of Doom's background. They just completely changed the character. In fact, I heard they even wanted to not even name him Doom. Seriously, they wanted to name him something else. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, so they decided not to do any of that, and then they did a couple of films, and like, well, let's do a reboot, and then they, you know, so. I, I kind of feel like if you want to keep going with the Fantastic Four, do do. do change out the cat change out some members or maybe change out all of them or whatever the case may yeah, be yeah. Mm-hmm. flesh flesh out what people love about uh you know whatever what, what people love about the fantastic mm-hmm. four or you know don't don't for example you know speaking of things that we'd love to see i would love to see doom get his own movies i think he's you know what i mean that would be awesome <laughs> yeah. how yeah, awesome would that true. be you mm-hmm. could do the awesome. whole where he builds a machine to go save his mother from hell and you know he it explodes on him and so he so he melts the armor onto his face like oh that's that's just crazy <laughs> right and and or, or the whole story where he meets the uh the giant um what is it uh, the tiger god in the uh in the amazon and the, you know that uh, where where he's deemed that he needs to be deemed worthy so he strips down takes all of his armor off finds out so the, so the cre- so the creature the the god finds out uh looks at all possible futures and realizes that the only future where there is no pain there is no death there is no suffering yeah. is when doom is the ultimate dictator of <laughs> oh, the planet like, that stuff is so cool you know yeah. like yeah, go yeah. go with it i'd watch that man. but yeah, definitely <laughs> for sure i i would i would i would stand in line for that one. <laughs> yeah would we'll do would we'll do well i well i have got the ultimate question for you Corey. the ultimate question when it comes to film the, ul- the, film. the ultimate, ultimate question ultimate. you touched on you touched on james bond who is your favorite uh-huh. friend who is your definitive james bond my friend Definitive James Bond. Ooh, that was, that's a that's a harsh question, Pete. That is a very <laughs> strong question. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do I go with uh, Do I go with uh, when I when I was watching them in the eighties? Do I go with current? Do I go with classic like Sean Connery? Do I go with? Uh... Hmm. I'll be on. I'll be honest with you. My, mine's a bit left field. Mine's okay. George. My, mine's George Lazenby. Okay, all right. So, one movie, but I, I don't know. There was just yeah. something about something about the man. Something about the man. See, that that's interesting. I just talked about how sometimes they have some. For example, Sean Connery, right? They had him do mm. several films, mm. and then they took a break, and they had him come back, right? Like they yeah. they loved him so much that they decided, hey, you need to come back and do one more. Why not? Um, oh, man. Oh come on, that's another one, right? <laughs> I, I, I answered. I answered the uh, if I could if I could uh, voice any character. Yeah. Oh. And the thing is, is that each each of the films too has their own sort of flavor. They do. They do. Of, they do. You know what? What do you like? Uh, mm. If you like that classic Bond, or if you, you know, it's like the 
the the little stinger missiles that come out of the headlights or do you like <laughs> the, awesome, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or do you like the uh you know the train getting cut in half with or the um the scene where uh, daniel craig uh jumps onto the i remember that when he jumps onto the train and the whole back gets blown off or whatever you know and he just kind of like fixes his suit you know oh, brush it off. <laughs> yeah. make brush sure it off. his cuff yep. link is yep. is yep. just in the right place you know there's stuff like that that i really <laughs> love about daniel craig um oh shit i don't know guys um that is a good question <laughs> on the spot i i don't know i don't know i'm i might have to get back to the fans on that one awesome, that's a yeah. that's yeah, that's, that's, that's there a we good go question. i'm gonna I, i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to concede i'm gonna have to just step back i have to analyze myself you know <laughs> yeah. reach down deep inside my yep. heart take and, a bit of time yeah and think what James Bond is my favorite. Awesome. I'll have to get my wife's input too because she's watched yeah. every single film. Oh, there we go. Uh, probably ten times. So. <laughs> I'd have to say uh, Pierce Brosnan is my favorite Bond. He, he, that's what I grew up uh, watching. Yeah. So that. Yeah. So that. Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. So he. Yeah. And, and see the thing. That's. That's when things kind of started to make another shift to where they are today, right? Definitely. I mean, you can kind of yeah. see the whole um, the arcs of where they're kind of going with <laughs> the, the style of the films and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's when Pierce Brosnan's films really kind of brought it into what's happening today, right? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I really like what they've done uh, with the uh, new James Bond films. It's like the ones with Daniel Craig. Um, they, they they have like an overarching story, don't they? So they all kind of link link into each other, and um, I thought that was really cool what what they did there because most Bond films are just self contained. Like, yeah, that's true. Mm. And maybe it's because of the style that they've chosen. Like I said, throughout the years, just cho- just choosing different James Bonds, people mm. who people who are are popular or sexy or whatever at the time. Mm. So mm. I, I do like that. Yeah, I do like that with the um, Daniel Craig films. That's true. I do like that uh, part as well. Oh, I don't know, guys. That it's oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do some soul searching on that one. <laughs> but I, I heard I heard some people were talking about how uh, David Beckham might should be should be the next James Bond. David Beckham. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think about that? Well, they, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> 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 uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. The the one that does get me though, which I think is a bit of a hot debate, is um Idris Elba. Yeah. Uh, uh, the the main actor from Luther. Now, I uh, have you ever watched the TV show Luther by any chance, Corey? No, I, I have. I actually, I have. Uh, I'm, man, I am behind on on films that I, or uh, series that I need to watch. Luther is definitely on my radar, and that's definitely something I'm going to be watching. Uh, hopefully, in the very near future. Yeah, as I said, I know he's um, you know, he is he is a co- he is a, a Londoner, a Cockney at heart. But um, mm-hmm. I don't know. There's just something about the man. There's just something about the man. I said very much like Daniel Craig, where he'll bring that kind of gritty realness to the actual um, mm-hmm. character. You know, which as you mentioned is um, the direction in which those films are going, which is well for the better for my to me anyway. Yeah. So you think um, you think that you would like to see. Uh, because you know, I remember the uh, the the current author. Oh God, uh, the the author of the, uh, the the of the the James Bond uh, books. Ian Fleming was Ian Fleming. N- no, the the no. gentleman who's kind of taken over. Oh. Um, Broccoli. Oh, man. Broccoli. Is that is that right? It's something, right now it's flying over, flying flying over my brain. And, and it's, I'm, a, I'm, it's a it's it's the same here. Something broccoli. I'm positive it is. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know why it's escaping me right now. Okay. But so this gentleman, they, I remember he, they were talking about uh, on the radio, and um, they said that Idris Elba was was too. What did he? What were the words that he chose? Too street. <laughs> too or, street. Oh, you know oh, what I mean? Right. Okay. 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 And, and I remember. That's very interesting. Yeah, and I remember, uh, particularly here in the states, we're very sensitive about these things, and we're saying, "Well, that's just code for black. You can't, you know, you yeah. shouldn't be saying that. And that's racist, and et cetera, et cetera." And he was saying, "No, I, I, you know, I really, I apologize. I didn't really mean it to sound that way. That's 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 not what I meant. I apologize. However, what I'm saying is, is that I I feel that there could be other black actors that 
could play the part, but he he wasn't too keen on Idris Elba. But I know that a lot of people are, and、um, if enough people are excited about it, hey, what I just talked about with Shenmu, if enough people are excited <laughs> about it, it's、yeah. it's gonna happen.、Mm. So、um, if he plays the part. And it works, then let's keep going. But if he plays a part and it doesn't work, then yeah, let's 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 move on. That's a great thing、yeah. about James Bond. It's、uh, if if we do a film that,、um, you know, not too many people were keen on for whatever reason, then then we can keep going. But I I, I have no objections. I think uh, um, I need to see him a bit more. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him. Oh, you know, I've seen him in some American films and stuff like that. And I need to see him in Luther. I know it's a completely different character, but I need to、yeah. see him more. I, personally, I need to see him more、uh, to make a decision on that. But I、yeah. don't see why not.、Yeah. A lot of people have really expressed expressed a lot of interest in seeing him play James Bond. And if and if and if they think so, then he needs to play James Bond. Because let, let why not, right? So. I I would love to see him in Luther. I know again that's a different character, but I I would like to see his acting chops a bit more,、um, <laughs> to 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 see what's going on. But but that being said, I didn't know anything about,、uh, for example,、uh, Daniel Craig.、Um, mm-hmm. I've seen him.、Uh, he he did you know a few things that、uh, that I、uh, that I. I didn't know much about him, you know what I mean. But people,、yeah. a lot of people, really love him as James Bond. So see how, see how that works. You know, sometimes you you, you know, you make the right decision, and it, it worked out for, for him. So, well,、uh, moving away from uh, uh, the movies, we've got one more question from、uh, the community, from、uh, Richard、uh, Richard Cartledge.、Um, he asks,、um, are there any fond memories you have? Uh, whilst working on the first two Shenmue games, any fond memories?、Mm. You know,、um, the project. The thing is, is that everybody that I worked with in Japan, as far as、uh, the people at Sega,、mm. are just really great.、Uh, really, man, just so super accommodating to me.、Um, they are just real stand up. Uh, people who just made sure that I was completely taken care of and comfortable, and、um, you know, I mean, like anything that I could possibly want or need, they took care of. I remember there was a local uh, uh, video store next to me, and, and、uh, you know, I needed to、uh, I needed to fill out a membership thing. Okay, well, it was all in Japanese, and I'm like, okay, well, my Japanese is certainly not that good, and I just kind of brought it over <laughs> to Sega, and they filled out everything for me, you know, and it just there's just like no problem, you know what I mean? Like it was so easy, and then they gave me a bike. Bike needs to be registered with the police, and I remember one time I went on a bit of a vacation, and I brought my bike over to the station, to the train station. And you lock it up and everything, you know, and、uh, and I ha- and I had disappeared for a few days. I don't I don't know if I it's because I went to Kyoto or if I went to go visit a friend.、I、actually, had a few days off、yeah. for whatever reason. And I remember when I got back, the bike was gone,、oh. and、uh, I was like, "Oh, really? Like I thought Japan was the country that you could walk around with, you know." Hundred dollar bills pasted onto your body while you're stumbling drunk, and, and you would be fine. Like seriously, my bike got stolen in Japan. Are you kidding me? So yeah, I, I told I told the people at Sega about it, and they're like, "Oh,、um, okay, we think we know what happened." So yeah, they took care. They went over to the police. The police actually realized that my bike was there for a few days.、Hmm. They actually took my bike and stored it, you、wow. know, to make sure it was safe. <laughs> Yeah. And they said, yeah, yeah. in Japan,、um, we do this. We, we make sure that your your possessions are safe. So they actually took、wow. your bike and and made sure that it was safe. And oh, wow, okay, that, that's、and、awesome. Even, <laughs> even like the security at、uh, at because you know you have to check into the building. There's several security guards and stuff like that.、Yeah. I remember there was a, a an older guy there, and he didn't speak much English. And he was always curious about English and English phrases and how to say things in English. And he was like, he was like the nicest guy ever.
and he would always you know try to engage with me in conversation and he was always like so excited to see to see me and yeah just everybody in all of uh in all of the whole sega compound and uh probably 99 percent of the japanese people in general were just really great um but my fondest memories i think are actually hanging out with the voice actors Mm. and uh doing the japanese thing where you leave work and you go and have lots of food and drink way too much (laughs) um you hang out uh you know the thing is in japan like you can just hang out all night Cool. I mean, you, you go and you hang out in a place until 2 a.m., mm. you know, uh, and then after 2 a.m., that place starts to close down. So you you walk down maybe a block or maybe even right next door, there's a place that opens up at 2 a.m. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, yeah. the uh, the trains, the trains stop running around. Uh, I think the train stopped running around one or two or something like that. So if it's 2 a.m., you're like, well, can't go home. So, <laughs> what, what a shame. <laughs> what a shame. Yeah. Might as well stay out. But uh, awesome. that, that I think those are my my fondest memories. People taking me uh, to their favorite like local places. You know, cool. just eating whatever. If it's uh, sukiyaki or if it's just having some beers or if it's uh, you know that that kind of thing. It's just it's just hanging out with the really um, awesome voice actors. I, you know, like I mentioned before, like Eric Kelso. Eric Kelso was my buddy in the whether it was you know whether it was uh, Ren or Fukusan or whatever, uh, but he was like my real life buddy. Like he was like a brother to me. You know what I mean? Like he said, "Dude, we're going out. We're gonna go talk to some ladies and we're gonna, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go, you know, have have uh, have some drinks." And he just yeah, he took me out in Japan, showed me the ropes, told me how this is how things are, mm. you know. Uh, yeah, it's great. T- taking me down these, uh, you know, these long, long dark alleys that <laughs> hold these like treasure troves. And sometimes it's, you know, the sliding door opens, mm. and it's this tiny, tiny place where there's only enough space for the cook uh, behind the bar, and then a row, uh, a row of uh, benches. You know, and it's just so tiny. It's like a c- closet mm. and um they just sometimes just has the best food you know that's that that's what i loved it's, it's just you know the the, the people mm. in general were just really awesome and like i said both on the sega side and uh and the voice factors really just really really awesome people cool right well then we're actually coming up to an hour and a half Corey. um so, oh um, wow! All so, right. Yeah, it's been it's been quite a <laughs> while. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I just I think it was tangents about uh, film and uh, <laughs> yeah, money James, and James Bond and Star Wars <laughs> and James Bond. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I'd just like to say um, f- thanks for coming on, man, and spending an hour and a half of us. It's it's awesome. Oh, thank it's awesome. you, thank you. It's it's been awesome, Corey. Thank you very much. Yeah, you know, again. Um, <sighs> I, I appreciate you guys having me on because the Shenmue community is um, like nothing else I've I've ever experienced. Um, you know, I've I've said this before, but I think Sh- uh, Shenmue has the best fans for this reason. Um, when we talk about things like Star Wars and uh, some other like you know like the people are really fanatical fans right but the thing is the star wars they get new films they get toys they get games you know what i mean they they have things to whet their appetite and to get them excited again Mm. but shenmue they can go on a 14 year dry spell (laughs) and any time that somebody posts a picture about anything related to shenmue or sega like Boom, everything explodes in this like a community reaction and the thing is is that you know you don't you don't really get that uh, with other with other things that that uh, may have a a cult follower except for maybe like rocky horror picture show or something like that you know what i mean like (laughs) there hasn't been a new film since the 70s but people still (laughs) acted out on stage you know like but 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 shenmue they 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 they're there are fans that are so dedicated and so 
passionate that they it, like i said it could be a 14 year dry spell and they will still be so, they will be so active on on social media or on, for example the shenmue dojo or something like that you know they are they are just on it all the time all day every day 24 7 asking you suzuki when they're going to come out with shenmue 3 and so it finally gets made you know what yeah, i mean that's yeah. that yeah. so so thank you i want to thank you guys i want to thank all fans out there really for for just everything that you guys do i'm i'm i i i, I am a fan of the fans seriously like seriously you know what i mean like you, you everybody out there is so awesome so thank you guys thank you Cheers, Corey. Um, no problem. I was I was wondering uh, before you go if you could say that sentence for us, and uh, we'll we'll pop it at the beginning of this episode. And um, would that yeah. be okay, Corey? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so re- remind me it. Uh, it's just uh, me uh, in search of Landy. Uh, I will have my revenge. Yes. All right. Are we ready? Yep, we're ready, man. Yep. All right. In search of Landy, I will ha- have my revenge. Hey, that was awesome, man. Hey, Thanks, awesome. Dude. Thank great. you. That was great. Yeah. Thank, thank you, guys. Um, I was just uh, wondering as well, uh, after Shenmue 3, uh, would, would you be willing to come back on and, and have another chat with us, maybe? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, you, you have my uh, Skype information, or we can do it through the uh, the chat that we were doing before. Let me know. I will, um, I, I, again, I can't say no to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's what we're like we never say no to it <laughs> yeah. that's true that's true yeah. that's true but again thanks a lot Corey it's been I, I... oh sorry go on oh uh, no I didn't, I didn't have anything more so go ahead oh sorry <laughs> yeah I just wanted to say uh, thanks again man for speaking to us it's, it's been a real pleasure man no thank you very much yeah all right, so yeah, I'll, thank I'll, you, guys. Well, what I'll do, I'll, I'll pop uh, this video up on YouTube, and I'll uh, send you a link on uh, Facebook uh, so you can so you can watch it uh, if, if you want to. Like, all right. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Oh, that's great, Corey. You, you have a good uh, well, good day. You've got the rest of yeah, the day ahead of yeah, you. Oh yeah. You have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm just about to go to bed. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, cheer, cheers, fellas. Yeah. No. Take, take it easy, Corey. Uh, have a good night. You too, you too. Take care, my friend. Cheers. Bye now.